Coming up on this week's Jaguar Week in Review, High School Picture Day is fast approaching. We'll have the dates and everything you need to know. Plus, with the blood drive coming in under a month, we'll be going over the importance blood donations make to those in need. All that, plus a look at district-wide news, a recap, and last week's sports, and more. Coming up, the Jaguar Week in Review starts now. Welcome to the Jaguar Week in Review for this week. I'm Cody Bertram, and thanks for joining us. Kicking off this week's show, we start with district-wide news. The Color Fun Run is fast approaching, and so is the deadline to turn in donation packets. The deadline for turning in the packets is on Wednesday, September 20th. Some of the grand prizes for the top fundraisers include an Apple Watch, a Bluetooth speaker, Bluetooth earbuds, Smash USA tickets, gift cards to a store of your choice, and many others. Classroom, dri classroom driver's ed for the fall is about a month out, starting around the end of October. This class is mandatory to receive your blue card to take the permit test. The fee for this class is $130. If you are interested or want to learn more, talk to Mrs. Dingman. Have you ever watched American Ninja Warrior and wish you could attempt the warp wall? Well, if you're a middle school student, you're in luck. On Monday, November 6th, Community Ed will be taking middle schoolers to Ninjas United in St. Cloud. The fee is $28. See Mrs. Dingman if you have any questions or to sign up on the VBE website. Are you feeling like you want to make a difference this fall? Do you want to help somebody out? BBE's National Honor Society is teaming up with the American Red Cross for their annual fall blood drive. The World Health Organization reports that blood transfusions are needed for many reasons, ranging from kids that have severe anemia to women that have experienced complications during pregnancy. Since blood can only be stored for a short amount of time, there is a constant need for blood donations. If you can help by making a blood donation on, on October 6, get signed up with senior Ben Schumann. Now into high school news for the week. Picture day for high school students will take place next week, Tuesday, September 19th, and Wednesday, September 20th will be a retake slash makeup day. For those who haven't picked up a picture packet, there's an order form in the office. Stop if you're in to get one. If you are interested in learning more or ordering online, visit www.hmdphoto.com. This high school also has updated its, its prize selection for Jaguar Pride this year. If you are interested in seeing what new prizes are available, stop by the office. Remember to keep up the good work and keep doing good things for those tickets. BB High School will open Study Center beginning on Tuesday, September 19th. Study Center will be open each Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday that school is in session in the Media Center from 345 to 545. Study Center is a great way for students to work on homework with help from high school staff. Juniors, it is time to register for the PSAT. BB High School will be offering all 11th grade students the opportunity to take the PSAT on October 11th. This is a great practice test for the ACT slash SAT test and it provides students with useful career information and students can be eligible for scholarships based on their scores. The cost to take the test is $15. Any students who would like to, to take this test should sign up by Friday, September 15th. And finally, in high school news, the BBA Technology Department would like to remind students that if you are experiencing a problem with any of your devices, to stop by and see Lucy or Miss Field. They will be able to help you out. Now to this week's sports wrap. We start off with football. Last week, the football team headed to Kimmel to take on the Cubs. The game kicked off with a good opening drive, resulting in a touchdown by Ryan Elias, putting the Jaguars up by six points. Then into the second half, the Kimball Cubs answered back with a touchdown, but missed the field goal, tying it at six. Then later in the second, the BB Jaguars scored again, putting them up 12 to six. Then right at the end of the game, in the final seconds, the Kimball Cubs almost scored, but the defense held strong and preserved the win for BBE. The football team is one and one in the season, and their next game is tonight at home versus Royalton. We hope to see you there. Now to volleyball. Last Thursday, the volleyball team took on Howard Lake at home. The game was a good matchup, having to go to f a fifth set. Ultimately, the BBE Jaguars held strong, and they came out with their first conference win of the season. Then a day after, on Friday, the team headed to Marshall for an invite. They played with teams from around the state, including some bigger schools such as Burnsville. They ended up going 1-4 and four in the tournament. Then this past Tuesday, they took on the Verndale Pirates at home. The Jaguars got out to a good start and never let that momentum go, winning against Verndale in three sets. The girls' volleyball took on the Painesville Bulldogs last night, and we will include this coverage in next week's show. Now finally, we move to tennis. Last Thursday, the tennis team headed off to Long Prairie Gray Eagle to take on the Thunder. They ended up losing this game, but headed off to take on the Melrose Dutchman. They lost that game, unfortunately, as well. Then yesterday they took on the Annandale Cardinals. We'll have this game's coverage in next week's program. And that's the sports wrap for the week. 
And that is also all the time we have for this week's show. If you have something that you think should be in the Jaguar Week in Review or you would like to suggest ideas for future shows, email them to broadcast at bbjaguars.org. Until next time, keep on keeping on. Have a good weekend, BBE.